Their formal name is Mobile Robotic Drive Unit, but more affectionately known as the bots. It occurred to me through a series of brainstorming exercises that what if the inventory could actually walk and talk? That quickly led to the notion of mobile robots carrying mobile shelving and really just setting the inventory free. This particular robot has delivered a pod to the station that's inside of a queuing system uh, and now it's being told by the host to take the load back to storage. What we ended up doing was just laying down a grid pattern of stickers on the floor and we asked the robot to travel on those stickers. And so the robots are having a wireless conversation with the host that's directing the traffic. The inventory figures out where to store itself. About 50,000 square feet of our warehouse is designated as Kiva storage location. We have over 300,000 units of inventory currently on the Kiva floor. This is one of our uh, picking stations. The laser and the touch screen is going to tell our associates here what units to pick and then what order that unit corresponds to. Each blue tote represents a customer order, so we're picking 17 customer orders simultaneously. The system is dynamic enough that it knows which SKUs are selling the most, so it keeps those pods close to where the action is. It keeps our associates productive during their entire shift, as opposed to spending two-thirds of their day walking aisles, seeking out customer units, or looking for empty locations to put away merchandise. They're right at their station with predictable outputs, and they're constantly working for us starter kit for Kiva for a small dot-com retailer might be a one to two million dollar two station couple hundred pods some bots the sweet spot for our customers seems to be in the four million to six million dollar range that's a typical uh, capital deployment but then of course we're selling a lot in the 10 to 15 and we've got some customers with 20 million dollars of Kiva equipment under one roof human here is very vital to the actual manipulation of the inventory. In the Kiva model, the human in the loop is very important for the. What we're trying to do is augment the human by eliminating all their wasted time and motion. Just watching how they communicate with each other behind the scenes so that they're not crashing into each other is really something that's just overwhelming at first. They're very fun to watch, and we're having a lot of fun as a company bringing this solution to the market.